Hello Darts Nuts, I'm going to do a review of the steel tip version of the Ryzen Sun Haruki Muramatsu Darts I hope that's how you pronounce it I bought these from Manos Darts using the Darts Nuts members forum discount code so got these for £55.63 delivered they're a 95% tungsten dart and if you don't know who Haruki Muramatsu is he's a pitcher As you can see he's a very good looking chap so they obviously needed to make him some very nice looking darts to match and these are quite a stunning looking barrel design and it comes in this very neat uh, case as well I'll just uh, have a look on the back it says Ryzen Sun Haruki Muramatsu barrels it says three pixel tips I think that's wrong I think that must be for the soft tip version three pro grip shafts three vision ultra flights and you just push that there that little hole and it pushes the um, tray out it's a very neatly made box and it's got a little magnet closing in the lid and there's your flights and your pro grip stems and your very nice barrels I'll just see anything uh, there's a, in behind the back of there it says 21.9 grams is the barrel weight if we can get these out of the box they're well in tight I feel like they're stuck in ah, there we go so eventually the barrels and point protector and yeah these are very lovely looking darts but they look as if they're made for a rear gripper and as you know I'm a front gripper but anyway we'll have a close look at the barrels now as you can see the darts are fitted with uh, steel tip target storm points and not pixel points like it said on the box I think that's probably just a generic box made for mostly the soft tip and that transition from the point to the barrel very smooth can't feel any lip there at all and it's got a very interesting shape but it reminds me of something out like of a science fiction movie it just has a very nice look to it certainly the blue shows up well on the silvery tungsten and it's just a, a very lovely looking dart now as you know I'm a front gripper it's got a kind of a strange feel on the front there mainly because it's got that scalloped kind of bit there then it goes into a bump so I'm not quite sure how it's going to work for me feels a little bit more comfortable gripping it there though and then it's got this section with the round notches in doesn't feel too bad gripping it there it's not an especially long barrel so I may get away with it there I may even throw it ok from the rear yet but if you're a natural rear gripper then I think you'll like that because it feels very comfortable in the grip there it is very nicely uh, machined as well and I think these were on the Phil Taylor barrels, this this kind of a, I don't know what kind of grip you would call it, kind of like an inlaid dimple grip. And then you got your target uh, pro grip stems and the Muramatsu flights. So I'll see if I can get a close up of the barrel for you then I'll put the detailed picture up. Okay, here's the detail pitch. The darts are fitted with a 30mm storm point. It's got a short scallop at the front of the barrel of 3.1mm, then a slightly bigger scallop of 7.8mm before it goes into a third, even bigger scallop with the blue slits in, which is 11.9mm wide. That slopes down towards the centre, 
which is 1.9 millimeters and you've got this band in the middle with the blue circles that's 2.6 millimeters wide and there's a kind of a groove with a beveled ring which is two millimeters wide then you've got this section at the end which is a kind of an indented dimple grip which is 14.3 millimeters wide and then there's a section of one millimeter at the end of the barrel overall length is 45 millimeters and width is 7.75 millimeters all right i'll just take some measurements along the barrel and I'll see if I can get it lined up to the front of the barrel. It's a bit awkward with the stone point because it makes it hard to grip on anything. But barrel length looks to be around 45.16, 45 millimeters. It probably is exactly. Um, it looks where them little circles are. That might be the widest. And that says 7.75. And then this rear section where it scallops inwards, it's 6.06. .06. And then the section here kind of goes to about 6.5. And then it obviously gets thinner as it goes to the point. It's like in three stages there it goes 5.2 and then on the very end I can't really grip it properly it's about 3.8 probably maybe 3.5 so quite interesting shape I'll compare the weight of the barrels now that one is 21.99 grams 21.99 and that one is 22.0 22 grams exactly and the weight of that supplied with the full setup is 23.56 grams All right I'll see if I can find the balance point this might be a little bit awkward because of the shape of the barrel Yeah, I think it's going to be quite difficult. It's probably going to be around about there, but because of the shape, I can't really balance it there. No. It's quite difficult, that. My guess is, with nothing attached, it's probably around about here. Let's see if it makes any difference with the setup applied. Yeah. So with the uh, the full setup, I'd say the balance is around about where the circles are. It's just because of the shape of the barrel makes it kind of awkward. So that's the detailed look at the Ryzen Sun Haruki Muramatsu 22 gram darts. Let's give them a throw and see how they go. I'm holding the dart right on the nose of the barrel and it's got a kind of a little bumpy section there I'm gripping it right there which is a little bit more to the nose than I normally would but it, um, it just uh, feels a little bit strange there one thing I do notice is the dart is very smooth through the air um, just feels a little bit too weird there so I'm probably going to move my grip up a little bit now just so I'm in this kind of a the first like scallop section I know the dart is probably not meant for a front gripper but I just want to try it from all the grip positions so 
I'm going to be gripping it there now. That was actually very smooth through the air from that position. So another throw. from that position. It does seem, seem to fly really smooth. It just feels a little bit strange gripping it there. It's quite thin and it's just a little bit uh, kind of a bumpy style of grip. So just feels a little bit awkward for me. Um, I'm going to move it up just into this wider scallop section now. So I'm in front of where the blue uh, circles are. That feels a little bit more comfortable in the other two positions, but uh, let's see how it goes. It's not too bad there. Like I say, I don't think it's meant for a, a front gripper anyway, but uh, it, does, it does have a very nice uh, smooth flight path. So I'm going to try the uh, middle section now, so I'm going to be gripping on the blue circles itself. I'd say that is probably just slightly past the centre. For me to throw from there but I was getting just a little bit of spin mm. still it's nice and smooth through the air just doesn't feel as comfortable. Yeah, I think it was a little bit more comfy there actually. Anyway, I'll try the rear grip now, which is obviously where the dart, dart is designed to be gripped from, but obviously I'm not a natural rear gripper, so it feels the most weird for me gri gripping it there, but the grip itself is probably the most comfortable position like for your finger placements. So I'll try that. I think this will probably go high. Yeah, I was trying to correct it too much on that last one, but uh, it was going a little bit high, but not as high as I was expecting. But I was getting a lot more spin, and for some reason, I always do when I grip it from the rear. But. Um, if you're a natural rear gripper that probably won't happen. Let's have a couple more from there. A little bit straighter. It's still actually smooth through the air apart from the spin. One more throw from that rear section. I find it too weird throwing it from there, but like I say, the dart is made for a, a rear gripper, so you'll probably like it if you're a rear gripper, but for me, I found it worked best just about there, so I'll go back to that grip now.
Well, that's the target Haruki Muramatsu darts. It's a fantastic looking dart, one of the nicest looking darts I've seen. Um, but I don't think it's quite right for my front grip, and to be honest, I wasn't really expecting it to be. But I am surprised it, it flies as smooth as it does with my front grip. It is really smooth through the air. I didn't see any fish tailing or spinning when I was gripping it around there or even there. So a little bit of spin from there and quite a bit of spin from the rear but it still stayed uh, pretty smooth, no fish tailing or anything. But like a lot of darts when I grip from the rear for some reason they always spin. Uh, it must be just because of the way my grip is. But definitely a dart for a rear gripper but I just couldn't get quite comfortable throwing it from there. But uh, wasn't too bad for my front grip but I can't really say I would recommend it as a front grippers dart but I have a feeling some front grippers will probably like it this really depends how you throw your dart really which is always the case but it's a case of finding out what works for you but uh, I have to try these darts just because I, I like the look of them and obviously if you don't try then you never know so I've tried and I found out they don't really suit me but Nevertheless, it's a fantastic looking dart and it's really very well made. So, thanks for watching the review and please subscribe to the channel.